Okay, so this is the uh, an application of a Vedic reaction. So we we use a Vedic reaction to form CC double bond. Okay, and this one we try to make the pheromone um, of female silkworm moth. Okay, and the pheromone looks like this. Take a look. We got um, E isomer right here and Z isomer right there. Take a look right there. So start out with uh, this comp this compound with the aldehyde at the end. Okay. So first off, what type of elite is it? Is it stabilized or unstabilized? This one we got aldehyde group next to it, so you can draw a resonance structure up to aldehyde. All right. So this is a stabilized uh, elite, and this re reaction will favor the E isomer. All right. So 52% yield, 96% is E, and 4% is Z. Okay. Basically, we try to form this bond right here, uh, uh, E isomers right here, and we get it. All right. Now, next one, so we are going to form a Z, uh, Z double bond. So we're going to use an unstabilized elite. All right. So as unstabilized, no uh, electron withdrawing group on it, and you're going to get that this one right there. Lastly, we have to um, reduce the ester to an alcohol. Well, that's easy. Lithium, aluminum, hydride, and then quench, right? Uh, this textbook didn't show quench because they expect that they didn't know it. But yeah, so first step, add lithium, aluminum, hydride. Second step, you quench at the end. Yeah, you get the product right there. There we go. Um, when I was and in my old school that I taught, so we actually did this reaction. We have Vedic reaction right here, right? And so we have a, what type of elite is this? Stabilized or unstabilized? This one is stabilized elite. So you got a carbonyl next to it, right? So negative charge, go attack the carbon right there. All right. And you're going to get either E or Z that you get possibility. And they have to differentiate between these two, the ratio. You get both. Don't get me wrong. You get both, right? But in ratio, which one's a major product? So you're going to, once they get the product, which is a mixture, they will take a proton in MR and then um, look at the ratio of these two products and come up with the ratio. Well, what, uh, what isomer is favored? Okay, they determine um, the structure of the product and the ratio of Z and E isomer using a proton in the mark. All right. Anyway, so I uh, move on. So one uh, one question. Let's do this one. I'll have you read it first. Okay. Let's say a uh, with the reagent is generate uh, generate in situ to so generate generate in the reaction and use right away. That's in situ mean uh, by mixing the phosphonium salt right here. Uh, with a strong base, so that's a strong base. So sodium HMDS, right? So it said sodium HMDS is a strong base with a negative charge on nitrogen like sodium amide. So basically treat it as an butyl lithium or sodium amide, okay? And uh, in the presence of aldehyde, so add aldehyde right here. Note that the ester group are generally not reactive toward Vedic reagent, yes, okay. All right, so let's say what product will you get here? So first off, uh, is this elite stabilized or unstabilized? The carbon right there, so you're gonna get negative shot right here, adding a base, negative shot right here. Um, this carbon up here in sp3, so not stabilized, right? So no conjugation with the triple bond. So all right, unstabilized elite. Now right, this negative shot, we go attack the carbonyl, and the oxygen we go attack for for us, and you're gonna get so unstabilized, you get Z isomer. Here we go. That's how that's how, how you draw it. Okay. All right. All right. Check real quick. So, uh, in my experience, uh, students usually make let's say miss or uh, number of carbon or add too many carbons than they, they're supposed to. All right. So let's check real quick. So in the starting material, we have one, two, three, four, five. I'm not counting metal. Yeah, I'm not coming metal here. That's not the point of confusion. So one, two, three, four, five. And in the uh, elite in reactant, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you should get ten carbon chain. Right? So let's count on the product. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Here we go. That's good. Okay. All right. So this is what we're going forward. Can you go backwards? All right. Identify reactant of Vedic reaction. Well, how do you make it? Well, Vedic, so uh, we have a double bond right here. If you remember, so the Vedic reaction is used to add carbon on a carbon chain, and we get the double bond, an alkene, okay? So the uh, the reaction center is right here, these two, all right? So either one could be an elite, the other one have to be um, uh, an aldehyde ketone, or it could be vice versa, all right? So let's say I make the ketone react with an elite. This guy right here is an elite, okay? 
or you can do make an elite right here and then react with aldehyde so put elite on the left side of the molecule and the aldehyde on the right side of the molecule so you get two options all right all right so go back to the first one so we have ketone react with elite all right so this elite can be made from uh this alkyl halide react with triphenylphosphine okay but if you compare to the uh, the elite at the bottom this guy right here can be made from this alkyl halide react with triphenylphosphine which one do you think easier to do uh, to make elite is this one here or down here it's gonna be the top one right so because primary uh, alkyl halide do sn2 uh, more efficiently okay so faster sn2 all right to go forward now we're going to go forward so take uh let's say you can use chlorine you can use bromine iodine okay i'm using uh try not try um propyl bromide react with um triphenylphosphine and then make an elid by adding a base deprotonated and you get this this is an elid okay take this elid react with the carbonyl and you're going to get -da, this compound that's a, that's a product all right let's go to the last reaction